Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be painting... Shaggy! Shaggy, yes! We've got um, Scooby over here that's been a loner for the last few weeks, so I thought I'll paint his body up for him. Let's get cracking! Okie dokie, so again with characters, usually I like the shade of the face or the body to be the base of the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and apply sugar cookie, which is um, one of my to go to's when it comes to characters all over the nail. Um, and then we're going to uh, cure it. OK, so I've painted the uh, nail, I've cured it for this design. You know what guys, I do feel like I'm going to apply a layer of matte top coat first because there's a lot of line work and I think that go on a bit easier. it will be so much easier if I just apply a thin layer of matte top coat and then I'll start with all the line work. Right, so I'm going to just prep my palette just with two colors for now. So I'm going to obviously apply Sirius Black and Snow White. Yeah, I've got the name right again. Well done. Onto my palette. And now I'm going to start painting. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> you don't understand, guys. Under the cameras, it's a little bit more intimidating to paint, you know. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to start by just mapping out both his eyes. So it's two round circles. It's actually got quite big eyes when you look at it. Should be bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got both eyes mapped out, filled in, and then we're going to start mapping out the rest of his face. And now I'm just going to um wipe the brush on my palette and i'm gonna go in to black so i'm picking up a little bit of black on my palette and i'm just gonna start mapping out his nose so it starts in the mid section of his eyes and it goes down curve line and it's slightly more curved at the end I'm going to now again do two tiny lines under the eyes. So he's got some bags under his eyes, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be painting what looks like an upside down U. Do another tiny U underneath that, but it's not as curved. And now I'm going to add two lines, one here. And one here just like so i'm gonna do a thick eyebrow one here one on the other side now i'm going to cure this before i mess it up and then we'll carry on right so i'm going to start outlining the eyes a little bit so i'm just going to outline the eye from the top just like so and then all the way down here so i'm just going to do that on both eyes and then I'm going to add a little dot at the bottom of each eye. You're looking more like him now. I'm going to do a U shape under his chin, just like so. And then I'm going to do two straight lines leading to that U shape. So I'm doing that. And now I'm going to just add some hair. Now I'm just going to make some space for the tongue, which will be here. I'm going to do a line here, and that's to add the teeth as well. So I'm going to start painting his hair. Do a line here. And bring it down. Right, and now I'm just going to do 
the neck underneath, which is a long one. There we go. A little bit of a top here. There we go. I'm going to pop him into the lamp and then we'll do some filling with color. So I've just applied um, Tuscan Sun on my palette and I'm going to add a little bit of Sherbet Lemon onto that blob and I'm going to mix them both to create the hair color of Scooby. Shaggy. Shaggy. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I think he might need to be slightly lighter. Slightly lighter. So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow. Oh, maybe I put a little bit too much. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's more like it. So I need to get this kind of orangey, yellowy kind of color. So guys, listen up. I've just added a little bit of old soul into it to create the perfect because it was a little bit too orangey for my liking. So I've added old soul and we got this gorgeous tone over here and we're going to use that to fill in his hair. So I bet he's ready now. Yes, he is. I'm going to dip into that color, the Steffi mix, and I'm going to just fill in the hair. Again, I'm trying to be quite precise what I'm filling in because I just like not going on top with more and doing extra work. Right, so his hair is ready. I'm going to just clean off my brush and I'm going in to Tangy Lamb. Need a little bit of green for his top. I'm going to apply that on my palette. And I'm going to just paint the top. Lovely. I'm going to pop him back into the lamp, I think. No. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to outline because I know I can outline and it won't mix mix in so I'm just gonna add that black line over there and now I'm gonna pop into the lamp I'm gonna apply snow white on my palette on my messy palette and a little bit of a cover story you just um, reminded me that I didn't do the mouth thank you for that so I'm gonna do it now so I've got cover story snow white and Sirius black is already on the palette right so I'm going to fill in his teeth first. I'm going to go into cover story and fill in his tiny tongue. I'm going into serious black and just filling in. Lovely. So I've done that. Has it been cured with the, yeah, it's been cured. I'm just gonna go above some of the lines. I'm gonna cure it just so the product doesn't move and we'll carry on. Right, so I've flash cured this. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight. Uh, no, sorry, a little bit of shading. So I'm gonna do some of his hair slightly darker. I've mixed, mixed all soul and a base coat for this. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading here and there. So this is done. And then I'm going to mix a little bit more and then I'm going to do a little bit of a line on the side of his face. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shading on his neck. And the shoulders, just a little bit. Yeah, so this is done and now I'm just adding the um, background as we go. And I'll uh, cure it for the last time and then top coat it for you guys. So I've chosen one of our Diamond Dust collection, Apple of Your Eye. It's a beautiful green 
And I think Scooby is all about green and purple, right? I think, oh, yeah. for me. Mystery machine. Always. Yeah. So I'm going to just add that on the background. So all of it is painted, yeah. Right, back into the machine. Right, I'm just going to apply top coat on this. I think he's actually larger than Scooby. Should have done him slightly smaller, but I'm really happy with the result to be fair, so. Let Ooh. her know in the comments how good of a job she's done. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. We've got Shaggy here ready next to Scooby. The gang Yay. reunites, eh? So, yeah. Oh, how cool. Now we have to do the rest. I oh, know, we do. We need to do, is it Telma? Telma? No, Telma. Velma? Velma. Velma. Well, I was thinking Come about on. Telma and Louise. Name Sorry. Them all. No, no. Come on. There's a girl that's beautiful. There's yeah. Velma. The most average guy's name in the world. Oh. I don't know. Who Fred. Is it? Fred, that's yeah. right. And, and Daphne. Daphne, and that's Velma. it. That's the, the beautiful kind of. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Daphne is the blonde. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, you look so cool. Look, guys. Look I love it. Cute. Yeah, we will do the rest of them one day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. You guys know that character work is my favorite. So if there's anything else that you would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care, guys.